Hey guys and welcome to a cash video showing you where all the hidden caches are on interchange. If you look up the top left hand corner there is a mini map so that mini map will follow me around and just make it a bit more easier for you guys to actually find the caches along with me. So let's get started we are out the back of idea right here and this is the ultra building just here and power station is over there. What we're going to start off is this one in the corner. I'm going to show you a reach that you can take and it would uh, be reversible as well. So this is the exit down the ramp of idea. Turn right until this wall reaches this corner and then turn left. And then what you want to do is go all the way down to the very end. Don't go inside the compound, stick outside the compound and you have a hidden cache right here. Now what we're going to do is head to the power station. When there's segments in this video where I can't just fill in the void with conversational speak, I will speed up the video. But you can also speed up the video as well if you just want to get through this video quicker. If you go down to the bottom right hand corner of this video, click on the cogwheel and you can change it to two times speed or whatever speed you like to. So now we're at the back of the power station and the hidden cache is over here so you've got a red little shed and then a blue little shed and next to this one is the cash right next to this trailer thing so now what we're going to do is actually head to the front of idea and i'll speed up the video Okay, so now that we are currently outside the front of IDEA, which is that location right here, what we're going to want to do is head into the go the go kart track. And you can see in the center here that you got trees and there's two bushes, one over here and one over here. At this one here, you can see the hidden cache just here is the far left one of the two bushes, that one here and that one here. What we're now going to want to do is head over towards this white hut next to the blue fence and there's this bush right here and there's a cache just dotted right here. Now what we're going to do is head directly for this crane and you can see that there's a overpass being made right here or a ramp and what you want to do is actually go underneath this ramp. You can see the cache right in front of us Sometimes you might not be able to reach it, so you're just going to have to crouch and then you can access it. Stay crouched until you've actually got enough headroom to stand up and then you're sorted. What we're now going to do is follow the wall parallel and go directly to the back of the map past the extract. Okay, so just passing over the train tracks just here, this is the extract and what we're actually going to want to do is follow the outside wall until you see this rubble just up ahead. Once you arrive at this rubble, what you need to do is go around the far side and right here is the cache. The next location is still following the wall down. You're going to get to this bush area right here and you can see the cache right here now what we're going to do is want to head over the rails to where this rubble is right here you got two two kind of loads of rubble you got the one on the right with this tanker thing and then one on the left that doesn't really have the tanker okay never mind it does just there but this is the cache right here now what we're going to do is want to head into the tree line over here to the left. So you have the rubble right here. What you want to do is follow the rubble the direction that the top is pointing at over in this direction and you'll come up to these two trees right here and the stash is right next to the skinny tree just here. Now, following along the ridge line of the sand, I'm going to keep going over in this direction. 
and you have this bush area of a load of trees and the stash is just here. Now what we're going to do is head onto the highway just up ahead and then we're going to turn right and go past the tent area where there is a load of scav spawns. Okay, so we've just reached to the very end of the scav area and you have this blue truck or blue van just here. What you want to do is stand in line with the blue van, jump over the uh, the fence and then you come up to this tree and this is the stash right here. Now what we're going to want to do is head to the giant tower that says Oli, Idea and Nortex as well as Goshen, even though that doesn't have a G. But that's what it's called. Russian is funky. And there's this one tree, as you can see, all by itself in which is a roundabout, I believe. Yep, in the middle of this roundabout. And next to this tree is the stash. Now what we're going to want to do is follow this road in a straight line. So when you follow in a straight line, you come up to these two trees. You've got a thick one and a skinny one. And this is the cache right here. Now what we're going to do is follow the road all the way along. Or not the road, sorry. We want to run parallel to where that, um, that stash was to the outside wall. And you'll come up to this area just up here. So you got two skinny trees right here, you got one here and one here, and in between those skinny trees is the hidden stash. Now continuing along, running parallel again, you get to these two trees right here with a bush in the middle, and right here is a stash. Now what we're going to want to do is head all the way in this direction, continue following the wall to a little camp where there is two stashes directly next to each other. Okie doke, so once arriving at this little area, you have a stash which is just next to this box right here, camouflage extremely well, and then at this other box you have another stash just here. And now for the final stash, what we're going to want to do is head directly towards the roundabout. And you can see a rock off in the distance, literally where I'm aiming. And that is where we're going to go for the final stash. And here you go. This is the final stash. I will leave a link in the description to a picture of all the stashes on this map which is a really good picture that you guys should definitely check out and props to the guy who has made it. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Also, don't forget to check out our spreadsheet, especially with the wipe coming up soon. On this spreadsheet, it does show you all of the gun builds, tasks, extracts, and keys in one location, and it will send you links directly to my YouTube videos. Guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.